Admissions and apologies. City leaders admit they were given incorrect and uncorroborated explanations on why the decision was made to fire tear gas, pepper spray, and rubber bullets on protesters on 676. Changes are now in effect. One of those changes, the Philadelphia Police Department temporarily stopping the use of tear gas for crowd control. Let's take you back to how all this began. It was June 1st, day three of protests over the death of George Floyd. Protesters spill onto the Vine Street Expressway. Minutes later, officers deploy tear gas, rubber bullets, and pepper spray. And today, after new video was released by the New York Times, city leaders say it should have never happened. Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Davis is at police headquarters with all sides of this story from the city leaders to the FOP to those representing the protesters. Kimberly. Yuki, that's right. And today, both the police commissioner and mayor are apologizing for what happened on June 1st after defending the department's actions for weeks. The Philadelphia FOP says there is no need to apologize and that city leaders do not support the police department. It was a chaotic scene on I-676. Peaceful protesters trapped on the side of the highway, surrounded by SWAT officers deploying tear gas. The images from that day sparked a New York Times journalistic investigation showing violations of their own guidelines on crowd control. I think it was a very, very strong incident where it looked very clear from the beginning that you know, the police used tear gas in an inappropriate way. After viewing the New York Times video, Philadelphia Police Commissioner Danielle Outlaw and Mayor Jim Kenney held a news conference Thursday apologizing for their previous statements, justifying the use of tear gas on those protesters. Effective immediately, I am declaring a categorical moratorium on the use of tear gas for the dispersal or control of crowds which includes any persons who are peacefully assembling or passively resisting. Deputy Commissioner Dennis Wilson voluntarily demoted himself to the rank of chief inspector after he authorized the use of tear gas on 676 that day without telling outlaw. Another SWAT officer captured on camera spraying protesters in the face will be given formal notice on Friday of a 30 day suspension with intent to dismiss. He faces two charges of conduct unbecoming of an officer and unauthorized or excessive use of force while in an official capacity. Ever since seeing the video of the terrifying incident on I-676, I have regretted my decision from the day before. I also regret my statements that followed, which attempted to justify the use of tear gas in that particular situation. The president of the Philadelphia Fraternal Order of Police says there's no longer leadership in the city. To the officers out there, the message is be careful. Call us if you need anything. Nobody has your back. The protesters attorney says no one had the backs of peaceful protesters carrying out their constitutional right and stricter punishment should be handed down. We believe that there are many others who should be held responsible for what happened out there. Commissioner Outlaw says the only time police officers will consider using tear gas is if a person is armed and dangerous. She also went on to say that additional personnel adjustments are being considered. We're live outside of police headquarters. I'm Kimberly Davis, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Kimberly, thank you.